Yo, what is going on, guys? It's Dan from Wolfram here. Um, and it's been a while. Um, and today, I think it's the first video. I've done a couple of videos on it, but scrapped them, I think, in the past. Um, but today, and if you guys want me to, you know, carry on this series, well, I probably will anyway, um, just make sure to leave a comment down below and leave a like, so I know you guys like these videos. Um, and if you guys haven't already, subscribe. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, so uh, I'm back um got a brand new mic um and today we will be using thorn and i will be doing an exotic review on it um so of course there are lots of other exotics i can do for you guys there are a few if you guys want me to do certain ones um so we've got all of these um we've got all of these as well um and then we've got so <laughs> i haven't got that many power weapons or for exotic weapons but anyway um today uh we will be testing out thorn um and first i will show you guys how it handles on things like ads and we are here um there's some phalanxes here um and some rec uh, and as you guys can see if i hit him uh for i think it's uh, either four ticks something um it does damage, let's see, uh, and it does quite a lot, um, which is pretty good. Um, oh, and how are these meatballs? Um, and so, um, yeah, it does a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, and PvP is where this thing does come quite in handy. Um, so, uh, like, whenever, or if you guys play Destiny, um, whenever you guys uh, or try and regen basically in health um, if you still have the poison like kind of ability on um, it will just <laughs> it will stop the enemy that you've hit from regening um, and as you guys can see there's this soul devour perk so let's say I waste a couple bullets here and then I kill this guy whoop, up to him already got back four bullets and it's just OP um, and it's really good for, um, it's got a secret kind of, I guess, feature, oh, I don't know why I'm trying to do that, um, where basically, if you have, if you guys know, there's those stupid, uh, like, bubble things, I forgot what they're called, um, I can go and give you an example in a minute, um, and, uh, you can shoot through them and they will still do damage. Now, at the moment, people don't know if this is a glitch or if this is something that really happens um, or was meant to happen, but all we know is at the moment that um, that's just what happens. Um, and so I'm going to probably test this out in some PvP in a bit, but I'll try and find the Taken Blight so I can use it against it. Um, but at the moment, as you can see, we'll do a bit of damage testing. So a headshot, 390 plus 122. And then let's say we tag him in his foot. It does 70 damage every second. I believe that goes for, it's either six or eight seconds. Oh, and I got killed by another meatball. This is just fabulous. Um, and whilst we have some sorority right here, um, let's go and see how fast it fires. So nine bullets in this. Okay, so that's how long it takes to fire all hip firing. And this is how long it takes normally. Now this is a fairly good gun when it comes to PvP. It's not the best, I'll admit, but it is still pretty good. Um, but boy, boy, this is a grind. Or at least when it comes to um, getting the actual thing, um, you basically have to um, just in the PvP bits, when you have to get the headshots, uh, it's okay. It, I mean, uh, if you do it with the Ikalos hand cannon or um, the Kindled Orchid, that's pretty good. But oh, man, how am I not hitting these shots? Um, that's still pretty good. Um, and um, it's it's a bit of a like when you play with it, it feels. I, I don't know what, what the, what's happening with this aim, um, but uh, it feels a bit like it's kind of 
a bit. If, if uh, whenever you shoot, I mean, I'll show you guys if I can actually get away. Um, for these guys. Um, so if you guys look, I'll take it over to like this wall, say. And if you guys saw before, it does seem to slightly go to the right, or it does not in that. Uh, but it does seem to slightly go to the right like when it recoils uh, which is a tad annoying because I mean I, I know it doesn't have the best but it's a bit hard to control if it's continuously going to the right I mean if it has high recoil that's okay um, but then um, what oh, I'll show you guys the actual gun uh, what actually makes this gun good as I showed you guys before is the whole its intrinsic part a perk which is mark of the devourer which so round piece targets and deal damage over time kills with this weapon leave behind remnants which you then collect those are those little green orbs um it's got soul devourer which you get from collecting these green orbs uh which will refill or most of the magazine will be refilled uh accurize rounds increase range obviously and then it's got grip um i don't actually have a uh prop slash mod thing for it um but yeah it's pretty good um and i'll be back when i can actually find a taken blight now quickly uh just so you guys uh, know if you guys haven't got it yet um this is how you get it so you are in the edz and you go with the salt or through the salt mines uh you don't need to kill any of these ads uh, just run past them um and so you walk along through here and you'll need to get to this teleporting place, transmat unit, uh, and it will transmat you over here, uh, and you will carry on going. And you'll carry on. And just over here, or just further up this hill, and there is a slight kind of railing where you can walk along if you guys need to know it's got like this like little pass here um, and you just gotta jump up here and through here and I'm sure probably most of you guys already have it but if I was starting the quest if you go to this campfire and you to hold down square it would give you or it say sift through ashes I believe um, and uh, then you basically can start the quest. Uh, and now with this quest, uh, basically, premise of oh, I think I'm about to die. Um, premise of it is at the very end, most of the steps are fairly easy. I mean, at the beginning, you have to get warlock kills in crucible, complete nightfalls, or um, I don't know what the other thing. Oh no, uh, do um, ashes uh, bounties on uh, IO. Uh, but regardless of that, um, then after that, you either have to. I got most of these done in the crucible, except like, I think the warlock ones, uh, where I got nightfalls because um, they give you 15 each. Now I will say that it's probably quicker to do nightfalls slash strikes because it doesn't take that long. Um, but still you can do either way and then you have to go on to getting titan kills uh, and once you get titan kills uh, you can either i can't in fact do remember what else you can get seven titan kills oh no you can do well of radiance um and for well of radiance you can just kind of uh, just do it multiple times i think it gives you 10 each time i surprised this doesn't explode um, and each time you do 10, um, it will just, you, you'll get, I think it's like some data lights or something, uh, and you'll have that, and then you have to move on to getting either Warlock kills in Crucible, um, getting, I believe it is Escalation Protocol, uh, like completions, it can be any wave, so that's what I did, and that gives you five, I believe. So you just grind that out again and again. Um, and then after that, you have to go and return to the 
drift. I oh, know you can return to drift. I don't know. I'm getting a bit confused. I think, but um, you then would go back and do um, you go back into crucible, and this is where a lot of people find it a bit annoying. You either have to get 200 hand cannon precision kills in uh, well, in crucible. Um, but you, if you choose to use a void hand cannon, you uh, it takes it to a hundred, which is good. Um, and obviously that's a lot quicker. And if you guys want to know some good guns to do it, I recommend the Icarus hand cannon or the Kindled Orchid, as they get it done fairly fast. Um, and I mean, I I don't have a Kindled Orchid. I'm not lucky like that. Um, but if you guys do, I'll probably use that. But the Icarus hand cannon recoil is absolutely bonkers it's like got barely any recoil at all um and it's a bit like malfeasance in a way um if you guys know what that's like um and yeah after you get that you then i believe have to do one step in between and then you get to do or <laughs> don't get to you have to do this nightfall which is slightly adjusted called Savathun's Song and it is absolutely annoying because bit, um, you will be doing it and it's just not very fun because at the very end, I mean me and my friend did this about two or three times um, and we still didn't get the thing because at the very end the Savathun's Song decides to go into a bubble and this is a word of advice <laughs> stay back because two knights one after the other will be spawned and they will absolutely murder you and I'm not sure at the time of this recording of this video um, they haven't patched it yet I don't believe but there is this very cheap cheaty spot where basically you can have one player just hide where no one else can or where the boss can't damage it and, or damage the player and basically you just end up having your teammates can do all the work and it's like a sure far way to just get everything which is good oh nice i know grab for literally doing nothing um and yeah so it's a pretty uh, hard quest i guess you could say and as soon as you do that you don't have to go to anyone you literally just straight off the bat go and get uh the thorn uh it gives it to you just after you complete the mission um, and yeah it's pretty good like i said um it's not the best but it's still pretty good um and yeah i recommend if you guys haven't done this quest already i think you should um it's like i said pretty interesting uh it's a very unique gun uh, it's a bit like the lame monarch which is the arrow uh, and yeah if you guys like just try it it's up to you guys whether you like to use it normally or not but it's a definitely must get if you guys are into the thorn from destiny one where it's similar it's probably not the exact same but like i said it's very similar i feel like i'm just repeating the same words these days um but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like or if you want to leave a like um, and if it was helpful, leave a comment down below to brighten my day. And if you guys want me to make this into a full-on series, and if you guys want me to do certain guns, just leave it in the comments down below. And if you're new, go and subscribe. Thank you guys. Peace.